What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and welcome to a semi-spooky Overwatch news update. Two of our topics today are Halloween themed, including the brand new Zarya skin, which unfortunately won't actually be in Overwatch, as well as two new Halloween themed Overwatch hero Funko Pops, which are supposed to be releasing pretty soon. And additionally, Blizzard just released a formerly virtual ticket holder exclusive panel from BlizzCon 2017 for everyone to watch on their YouTube channel. The reason for for them doing this might not be exactly what you think. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So first up, the brand new Phantom Knight Zarya skin was just revealed for Heroes of the Storm. That's right, once again, an Overwatch hero is going to be getting an amazing looking skin in Heroes of the Storm, but more than likely not in Overwatch. We've seen this happen quite a few times at this point, and it is always just a little bit disappointing. But then again, we could be in for a pleasant surprise and get a skin similar to this in Overwatch, or maybe one that's even better. As many of you know, I am working on a Halloween skins prediction video, which will be coming out pretty soon, and I've got at least one pretty good idea for a Zarya skin, which I think would be amazing to get in Overwatch. So definitely stay tuned for that coming soon. But for those of you who do happen to play Heroes of the Storm as well as Overwatch, I guess it'll be nice for you guys if you're interested in this skin. It is part of their Halloween event, which runs from September 25th to October 15th, so based on the leaked start dates for the Halloween Overwatch event, it shouldn't even be overlapping by too much, which means you'll have plenty of time to play and get the skin before the Overwatch event. Anyways, moving on to our next topic, earlier today Funko Pop Hunters on Twitter tweeted out this image of an upcoming Junkenstein's monster Funko Pop figure of Roadhog. Now admittedly the image is not that great a quality, but we do get a good enough look to see that this is indeed a brand new model for Roadhog. We do of course have the default skin Roadhog which I actually did a merch review on not that long ago, but it does in fact appear that Funko Pop is starting to branch out and do more and more legendary skins for the different heroes. While doing a bit of digging to see if I could find any more information or maybe a better image of this Roadhog figure, I found this leaked image from back in August, which apparently is showing off a number of different Funko Pop figures that the company is planning to release. And right next to the Junkenstein's monster figure, it also looks like we're going to be getting a Junkenstein skin for Junkenstein. Junkrat. I gotta say, there is no more iconic Halloween duo when it comes to Overwatch, so I think it's awesome that they are going ahead and releasing both Junkrat and Roadhog in their Halloween skin variants. Now it should be noted that the Junkenstein's Monster Pop will only be available at Hot Topic, and the Junkenstein Junkrat one will only be available at Box Lunch, so actually getting these figures could be a bit difficult, but I'm sure they'll be showing up on eBay pretty quickly after they get released. Of course, the big question I'm left wondering after after seeing this, what other event specific legendary skins could be remade into new Funko Pop figures? The possibilities are basically endless. And moving on to our final main topic for today, Blizzard released on their YouTube channel an hour long BlizzCon 2017 panel which went into the making of Overwatch. Now formerly this was one of the panels which was locked behind the virtual ticket from last year's BlizzCon event. And so apparently this is supposed to be the first time that non-ticket holders are getting to see this information, but as I'm sure many of you probably would assume, or maybe even already saw for yourself, this exact panel was re-uploaded by countless people not long after the event last year. Sure, the ticket holders got to see it first and live as it was happening, but anybody else who wanted to watch it for free definitely already had the opportunity to do that. It does seem a bit strange that they've decided to release this panel from last year, but I think it's pretty safe to say that this is just further promotion to try to get people to buy the 2018 virtual ticket. As I'm sure many of you have been keeping up with, there has been a decent bit of drama regarding the 2018 BlizzCon virtual ticket. First of all, they raised the price by $10 from what it cost in previous years. Also, the Overwatch skin, which comes with the ticket, was more than just a simple BlizzCon recoloring, and instead is a full-on legendary skin for Sombra. But in addition to that, people pretty quickly found the small print, saying that the skin will be available in a different way later in 2019. So naturally, 
having discovered this, people probably aren't nearly as interested in buying the ticket anymore. And perhaps Blizzard is panicking a little bit. Now, of course, we don't know that for sure, and they possibly were planning to release this regardless of how the community reacted to the Sombra skin. If you haven't seen this panel before, I would recommend watching it. It is an hour long, but there's quite a bit of good and interesting information in it. Who knows, maybe seeing the sort of things they talk about in the virtual ticket exclusive panels will actually make you interested in getting the ticket for 2018. To be fair, if you are a big Blizzard fan, then I do think the ticket is worth it. It really just comes down to how interested you are in keeping up with Blizzard and following the things they do. I for one will be purchasing the ticket, as I want to be able to see all the things they have to say this year, and even if people do end up re-uploading the panels later on, it is always nice to be able to get there first and see it as it's happening. But anyways, that'll do it for today's Overwatch news update. If you didn't catch my previous video where I went in depth with everything we know so far regarding the upcoming 2018 Halloween event, then you can check that out through the card on screen, and otherwise, let me know your thoughts about anything I talked about here today. Do you wish the Phantom Knight Zarya skin would be put into Overwatch as well, or are you excited to get those Halloween-specific Funko Pop figures? Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with all my future Overwatch content, and follow me on Twitter for fun polls and channel updates. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.